Some drama in Texas on Saturday, with the Republican-controlled House there voting to impeach the Republican attorney general of the state, Ken Paxton, over allegations of bribery and obstruction of justice. It is an extraordinary rebuke of a top GOP official in a deep red state. NBC's Priscilla Thompson is there in Austin this morning with more. Good morning, Priscilla. Hallie, good morning. The now suspended attorney general, Ken Paxson, is hitting back, calling this impeachment illegal, unethical, and profoundly unjust, incensed after House Republicans voted overwhelmingly to impeach him. The vote came after hours of fiery debate with Republicans who oversaw this investigation, detailing a years-long pattern of misconduct. Now, Paxson led efforts to overturn the 2020 election and has been seen as a champion of of conservative values, but those House Republicans said that no matter how much they agree with his policy positions, no one is above the law. Either this is going to be the beginning of the end of his criminal reign, or God help us with the harms that will come to all Texans if he is allowed to stay the top cop on the take. And lawmakers say that Paxton made threatening phone calls before that vote, vowing political retribution for anyone who voted to remove him. Republicans who were against this impeachment say that the process was rushed and the investigation flawed. As for what comes next, those 20 articles of impeachment will head to the Texas Senate for a trial. That body is composed of 19 Republicans and 12 Democrats, among those senators deciding Paxton's fate, his wife. And that trial is expected expected to start in a special session in the coming weeks. Hallie. Priscilla Thompson live for us there in Austin. Thank you, Priscilla. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.